the day that I'm um, gonna, my brother and I are gonna try to get this big massive ash log out of the bank here. And it's about 16 feet long, and it is a good, I don't know, at least two feet thick up here and three feet thick down there. But it is hollow, so it's not as heavy as it is, but it is definitely a heavy log. And we've got the Alice Chalmers D17 up here. We've got uh, 63 horsepower, liquid cooled, four cylinder gas motor, power steering, and uh, it's a 59, a 1959. Sounds pretty good. This tractor also has the high low range, and you can, it's like a power shift or something, and you can shift on the go, which I think is pretty cool. I think this tractor, what do we figure out, Christian? It weighs. Uh, it was like 5,000? 5 to 9,500, 5,000 to 9,500 pounds. And it does have calcium in the rear. So this tractor is very, very heavy. All right, well, uh, you stay out of the way. Yep. This is the first time we tried pulling this log over. Here, one of my chains broke, and it, I had my doubts to, I had my doubts about this chain to start with. I didn't really think it would hold up to pulling this amount of weight with this much horsepower. And I was kind of correct. It broke at the length that I was expecting it to break at. So uh, we re-rig here and then we go for attempt number two. This Alice Chalmers D17 is quite a machine. I'm not used to running such a big tractor with so much power and torque. It's amazing this tractor spins the tires. You can hear the hear the motor lug a little bit here, but it's really not working that hard to spin the tires at all. Which is I think it's pretty cool, you know, to have that much power at my fingertips. It's uh, it's a, quite a machine. I'm kind of glad I bought it. It's uh, it's pretty cool, pretty uh, pretty neat piece of equipment to own and have and operate. So this was the third time we rigged up to this log to try to get it out, and you know, to this Alice Chalmers, it's got the power to roll this thing. It it would have rolled it up out of there, no problems, but. Getting a chain around this thing, there wasn't a whole lot of spots I could get a chain around uh, relatively easily. It was contoured to the ground, sort of almost the same as the ground was, so there really wasn't a whole lot of options for me to hook a chain around to it. Plus this log was so big, I just had to use a couple chains and hook them all together. and It's pretty neat pretty neat doing this stuff and this old tractor is kind of getting a workout here as you can see at this point I finally gave up on pulling the log out and I figured we're gonna cut this thing in half I'm gonna cut it in half anyways at some point because it's just you know 16 feet is just too long so I'm getting out the Chinese chainsaw here, warming it up, and just kind of cutting a few of the branches off that I couldn't get to. And boy, this log was really, really hollow. It was a lot more hollow than I was thinking. The footing on this ground here is not the greatest, and it also drops off pretty steep on the other side of this log. Now I'm 
trying to figure out where I should cut this log to try to make it evenly in length, if, or at least the best that I can. And it's roughly, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Uh, this one log is about eight or nine feet long, and the other one's like seven or six, roughly. And I'm trying to, of course, clear out all the brush and stuff that's in the way, branches. These ash trees, man, they make such a huge mess when you, when they fall and stuff, the branches just shatter like glass. And look, there's some smoke coming out of one of the holes inside the tree. And there's quite a few of them here. But it, of course, uh, that, that cut there didn't take me very long at all. The sum of this tree is only six inches thick on one side and the other side is an inch maybe. So I'm trying to not get the saw pinched in here and I think I started at the bottom first or no. No, I started at the top till it was gonna pinch and then once it started to pinch I finished it off at the bottom. Sort of had to do a plunge cut here to get the saw in there because it was laying up against the dirt for the most part. But I eventually got this cut up and didn't get the saw pinched so that is always a good sign. And next we'll be hauling up this first piece and it, even this first piece gave the, the D17 a workout which was kind of surprising. You can see just how big this tractor is when comparing me to it. I'm about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, somewhere around there. And the hood on this tractor comes up to my chin or my eyeballs, something, something like that. And the Alice Traumers, since this is an aero front, it's kind of tippy. The Alice Traumers had has these special rims that you loosen a couple bolts with and you can actually spin the inner rim from the outer rim and actually widen out the tractor by I don't know eight inches maybe something like that but yeah, this tractor is in its narrow form now and so it is not widened out but that would help with doing hill work and stuff to not make this tractor so tippy I line up my cuts. Pretty good. Oh, not too bad. Wow. All right, there's half. So here we are pulling up the second half of this log. And heck, even this thing had quite a bit of weight in it. I know it looks hollow and it is not as heavy as what it seems, but we, the Alice is getting a workout here, and it actually was, I guess, wanting to stall almost, which was kind of weird, because 63 horsepower seems to spin these tires like it's, I wouldn't say nothing, but I mean, you can hear it working a little bit, but it was spinning them just fine, so... Now I think we got hung up on a stump on this second pull for this piece and I think we're just going to leave it here for now. So we've got both of these logs pretty much up out of the hole that they were in and I don't know this one's about eight feet long that one there is probably seven ish. That one's really hollow and actually so is this one but Look how big the bark is. Just amazing how big and triangular that this, this bark is. I've never really seen too many trees like that. But I also want to say I apologize for the wind. It has been some crazy weather here in western Pennsylvania and uh, I can't really help it. So, But I wanted to get this both of these logs or this one log out, out of here and now I can cut them up safely for the most part on 
flat ground. Uh, these are obviously not good for lumber. They are firewood. And uh, this one here, I wish we could have gotten it a little further. Probably if we try some more, we could. But, uh... I mean, I can still cut this up here. I just got to be careful. And actually, I'll probably start on this side first. And then I'll go to the top side in case these were to roll down. Because obviously the bar bar on my saw isn't big enough to cut this so you got to get it from both sides but there you go thought you guys might enjoy this uh you get you've now seen the alice chalmers d17 for for the first time and at some point this will go too it's uh this is the other half of it obviously and that's all bad but i want to cut down these few trees here to the side and i want to flop this thing over that way because get a good shot of the creek it's uh it's pretty high and normally you can see the trees out in there i i can walk down in here and uh, i don't know it's up oh man it's probably up about three feet three ish two to three feet and uh but yeah i hope everyone enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and hopefully i will see you all in the next video